my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Dreams come true. Joseph raised to power. Let's read. <coughs> Joseph served Portugal while Portugal's wife wanted Joseph to sin, sin against God. Joseph refused. So she lied about him to Portugal. Believed her, and Joseph was thrown into the prison. So, I think this sound is first time coming. So, per he worked for per for a while, but Joseph's wife wanted Joseph to sin against God, but Joseph didn't. So she lied. So Joseph was gone to prison. In the prison, Joseph met two. Of Paro's servant. They each had dreams, and God showed Joseph. God showed Joseph their meaning. <coughs> Joseph's explanation came true. The cupbearer was released, and the baker was happy. So in the present, Joseph met two power serpents, a baker and uh, I don't know the name. <laughs> and like he explained that about the dream, then it came true. <laughs> two years later, Paro had two troubling dreams. The cup of remember what Joseph has done for him and told Paro. So Paro sent for Joseph and told him his dreams. So two years later the cupbearer has like forgot Joseph and he was forgot Joseph and one day Paro had a bad dream, troubling dream, so the copper finally think about Joseph and told what Joseph has done for him. Joseph the meaning of Paro's dream. For seven years, a lot of fruit will grow. So Joseph so store up food because seven years is famine will follow. So like he had the troubling dreams and he explained and he Joseph told him that 
at seven years there will be many food grow but you should store because after seven years of payment will follow <laughs> God helped Joseph understand the meaning of the dream. True, like if God didn't help Joseph, Joseph will not know the meaning of the dream. Paro was impressed by Joseph's wisdom, so he put Joseph in charge of storing all of the food apart from Paro. No one in Egypt was more powerful than Joseph. So Paro was very impressed of Joseph's wisdom. So like he charged him of all the food. And no one was powerful than Joseph because Joseph was with God. Joseph's brother went to Egypt to buy food. They bowed before Joseph to but they didn't not recognize him. He saw that they had changed. He told them who he was. So Joseph's brother came to Egypt to buy food because they didn't have food to eat. And like they bow down before Joseph. Like the dreams of Joseph. So like he was like saying they're spies and he liked Benjamin more. But like the brother was was helping each other to save Benjamin. So he knew that they were changed. So this is my father. Question the Paro put Joseph in charge of number three, the food, right? The brothers were terrified. You mean to harm me, Joseph said, but God used this for good. Bring all of our family to Egypt. We will have plenty to eat. So the brothers were terrified because like Joseph could kill them all. And but Joseph forgave his brother. Wow. And he said, Bring our family. Oh, we have both of another battle jam. Question Joseph's brother meant to harm him, but God brought good out of it. True. Yes, today I read the Bible story. You did enjoy. The next time I will read another God story. So, see you next time. Bye!